Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm doing a emboss resist technique, which is this one just here. I have used a sponge background and I've embossed these lovely butterflies and little stitchlets from the needle and thread photopolymer set from the new occasions catalogue. Now I've mixed it up and put it with my favourite die, which is amazing, from the Celebrate You die set. I love this one, I think it's so cute, I haven't used it for ages so I was glad to get that back out. And I have sponged it with Daffodil Delight, Powder Pink and Mint Macaron. So let's get started. You will need a piece of cardstock. Let me just quickly do my mat sizes with you so you can see what I've done. As usual, I've took a piece of A4 card, cut it in half and scored it in half to make a tent fold card. I usually put them that way. Today I'm going that way, but it doesn't make any difference. I've got a piece of black backing. This is half a centimetre less than the back. So whereas this is 10.5 centimetres there, this is 10 centimetres there. 14.8 centimetres there, 14.3 centimetres there. And then I've done the same with a piece of Whisper White for the front. So this is 9.5 centimetres by 13.8 centimetres. So it's another half a centimetre less. And that's the bit you're going to need. I'm just going to grab some post-it notes because I totally forgot to pick those up. There we go. I've got all my scribbles on them as well. I don't know what I was making there, but I've got scribbles on. Right, so what you need is you need your anti-static pad first off, your clear embossing powder and a heat tool. Oh, and your Versamark pretty important <laughs> All right, you can. and you just want to drag the powder over the card if you're going to be doing embossing all the way over and you're going to be using your verse mark all over then don't put your hand here to hold it like I have but I'm not going down in that corner so it was okay. I'm just going to blow the loose bits off. Put that back. Okay. Take the lid off your Versamark. I've got the tiny little A stamps here. And I'm using this butterfly, this stitching, and these butterflies here. Butterflies seem to be the in thing in the occasions catalogue. We've got the Butterfly Gala stamp set and sweet, um, which is beautiful. But I really, really love this stitched one that's um, that one there. I think it's really cute. I might go as far as to say it's my favourite butterfly from this set. Maybe? Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do, and this is really tricky, and it's going to be tricky here because the light. Is I'm going to stamp these all over. Now you obviously won't see um, where I've stamped that. I'm going to have to put my head at a funny angle so I can see where I've stamped it. But you just want to do a few of them at different angles, at different heights, all over the card. So I can just about see those. I'm going to come in then with the three butterflies and do those. The trick with this I've found is to start with the largest stamp because then the little ones can just go in the spots where you hadn't got any. Whereas if you do lots of little ones and you haven't got room for the bigger one, you can't fit it in. Voice of experience there. <laughs> I've done it so many times and got to the end and not had room for the little stamps. So this one is the stitch in and the little crosses. I think it's called cross stitch. I'm not a sewer. I'm terrible. I made a puppet at school once. I did make a puppet um, in textiles. Oh, and I made a pillow of a crab. Let's see if I can find it. I'll put a picture up. I say I made it. My nan helped me lots with it. She was very good at 
at that. Right, so once you've got your pattern done, and I, I know you can't see what I've done because there's no way the camera's going to pick that up, but I can just about see it roughly. I'm just going to sprinkle the clear embossing powder on the top, which won't help you at all because you won't be able to see that either. Being clear. I haven't emptied my embossing powder into a tub yet, so I'm waiting for a disaster of it going everywhere. I've just got a scrap piece of grid paper here. Folded it in half. I've missed a bit in that corner. I've gone all the way to the end. So just assess it yourself. You'll be able to see if you've missed any. There we go. Just tip that in. I'm not brave enough to put it on the side and wait for later because I'll knock it. I know me. Come on. And then you just want to use your heat tool. I'm just going to put mine on in the corner so it starts to heat up so that I can heat set the embossed section. Bring that up near the camera so hopefully you can see it. all done is that it will all go shiny so it's gone lovely and shiny now and that has warped to my grid paper look at that it's gone all wobbly <laughs> okay I'm just gonna put the scrap bit underneath again and I'm gonna which way did I do it before there so I'm gonna start off with a mint macaron Grab my dauber and I'm going to start off the page because when you go on the page it will go really dark. So you want to start off the page, do a little bit of a rub off the page and then bring it on. And then you just want to build up the colour. Just like that. So what I'm going to do, because I'm aware that this will take a bit of time to get the colour I want because I went quite dark, is I'm just going to speed you up and then you'll be able to see the finished bit. So it'll be a bit like my time lapses. Okay, and then what I did previously was I went all over the card then with the Daffodil Delight, just over the top of the pink, over the top of the mint macaron, and just blended it all in together. So that it all had a bit of a green tint. I liked it with the pastel colours, I just wanted them all to be a bit more succinct and so I went with the lightest colour and went over the two. You could go over it with the powder pink, means that's quite a light pink 
Um, I wouldn't recommend it with a mint macaron, otherwise you wouldn't see any more of your card. But that's sort of how I went across it to create it more of a more of a yellow tinge, really, and to make sure that all the colours were blended in together. And you can see from as I've done it, you can now see very clearly what the stamping was on the card. As I was going forward, I noticed you wouldn't be able to hear me, so this was powder pink that I used in the middle and Daffodil Delight at the end because I wasn't able to announce those. But it just made it slightly quicker for you. Then with the rest of the card, I'm going to bring back the layers. I'm going to be a bit, a bit frugal here, really. So we grab my Big Shot. Ooh, it's all falling. And I'm actually going to use my black mat because this will have the picture over the top of it you won't be able to see the middle bit so I'm actually going to use the middle bit and I'm going to dye the amazing out the middle and you will never know I know save the pennies and the pounds look after themselves <laughs> so I'm just going to run that through and there's my my sentiment and my black backing so I'm just going to stick that directly onto the black now I'm going to be using my Tombow stick that on I'm just going to go around here so that that bit sticks as well. And there we go, the evidence is hidden. No one will ever know about it. <laughs> Unless they watch this video and then they'll know there's a big cutout in the back. <laughs> right, so the next bit I'm going to be stamping is... I am going to stamp this sentiment here, which is friend. I'm stamping that first so that I can find out exactly where I want to position my amazing. I'm just going to grab a slightly bigger block. I'm going to be using the G block for that. Friend, friend, friend. There it is. Actually, I'm not. I'm totally lying here. I'm going to use my Stamparatus purely because I'm stamping onto a sponged background. And that way, if it doesn't take first time, I can go again. Let me just grab my glue mat. The stamp positioning tool is great for this sort of thing because if it doesn't stamp the first time, if you do get a little bit of a a blotchy image. This just does it. Where's my magnet gone? There we go. And I want friend to be yeah, just there in the corner. Okay. Oh. But you're all shouting at me. I put my <laughs> I put my silicon mat on the top rather than the foam mat. You need the foam mat on the top, so it it's properly. And I'm going to be just use stays on for this so that it does stay on. But you can use your memento. That's not a problem. stamped okay. I could have just done it with the pad <laughs> but just in case it's always best to have it there as an option. So I'm just going to grab my amazing which I've just got stuck to the ink pad because I'm silly. A pair of scissors I can just there we go pop the middle of that one out and you can run either fine tip glue or a Tombow 
across here. I'm going to use Tombow because I'm not sure what I've done with my fine tip glue pen. It's not coming out. Let me grab my silicone mat and I can actually then be a bit more forceful. glue mat's great because if you go off it the glue doesn't stick to that then you can just peel it or wash it off there we go I'm just going to take that off and drop it that there makes sure it's straight And that's that. Stick it to your base. And then I'm just going to take some of our diamantes. Just going to take the smaller ones. Come on, thank you. You've got to talk to them, you've got to encourage them. <laughs> Next one. Much better just doing it with my finger, yeah. There we go. And then the final bit that I've done was just a little bit of detail with the Wink of Stella. And I just went inside these stitch butterflies. So you see the ones where you got the this bit? I just went in there with the Wink of Stella to give them lots of glitz. And that was my sponged card. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll have all the details on my blog and anything that you wish to purchase that I've used in this project. Remember, it comes under celebration, so you can get a free product if you spend £45 or more. And you can just go onto my blog and click buy at the top and you go straight onto the website. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.